got another little upgrade for y'all. Got this DC power 270 alternator going on this thing. I just slide this in, man. This ain't no how to or nothing like that, but I'm just slide. Right. I should have did it before and after, but I ain't even think about it too just now. But uh yeah man, y'all know I'm always up to something. Um, I'm about to replace these bump stops. I already did that side over there, as you can see. And man, the motherfuckers just crumbled into a million pieces. The halfway gone, tore off. So I was uh, Amazon, and I really wasn't even thinking about changing them. I think they just kind of popped up in some suggested shit. And I was like, damn, you know what? I think I do need some bump stops. So I ordered them, they just came. So I'm about to stick them up in there now, but just showing y'all. I ain't even touched this side. And look, look how that motherfucker look. <laughs> so I'm uh, going to pop those in. And I think the backs look just the same. And I thought it was a bolt that went in there, but it's not. They just kind of pressed in. I'll show y'all what it's looking like after I take that one out. But yeah, you just force them in and they stay like that. But it was definitely time for some new ones. Oh yeah, and don't, don't mind this big gap right here. I hit y'all with an update tomorrow or something when I finish him out. So yeah, I just used the flathead and stuck it in there and kind of pried it and pulled it out. But yeah, that's that's all that was left. Like I said, it just uh, the new one just press up in there like that. Uh, that's real easy. Oh, up in there just with a nice. Press and pop right in. That's what the rears look like. Same situation. Same situation. Alright, y'all. So I'm back. Two days later, got my shit back from the powder coater. So it's time to time to bust down. Get it back going. Shit been on jack stands for two days. All right. And look what I got. So y'all about to see the speed lapse of this bullshit. Pray for me. y'all probably thinking like man what is this nigga doing why why he just don't put it up there trust me it's way harder than what it looked like and with it being powder coated it made it um a little thicker so it really didn't want to slide up because it's already like a weird way you got to put it in there you got to angle it just right and then the powder coat the powder coat had made it more you know like a little slightly thicker so it really didn't want to slide over those grooves and then I had to drill the holes out to put the bolts through, but I didn't even record that. Oh, man, this shit was kicking my ass, bro. And I'm like, damn, did, wait, did something move? Am I doing something wrong? Like, what, what the fuck? But I knew when I took it out, it was going to be a bitch to put it back up because it was kind of hard to to come out. I had to, like, wiggle it and um put it at a certain angle and pull one side down and then 
the other side and all that. So I knew it was going to be a pain in the ass. So I just, uh, just laid there and struggled with it because I knew it was eventually going to uh, pop in. But God damn. Now I was trying everything. Finally got this hole. Scuffed it up a little bit, but fuck it. We got it up there. Boy, that was some bullshit. God damn, that was some bullshit. Got the top two in. I'm about to put this lower skid plate on. And then I gotta uh, put the bottom ones on. The bottom bolts in these. <clears throat> Jack the car back up. Get these jacks from up under it. And then uh, I think I'm about to put the jack on here to... I don't know what I'm about to do, but boy, never again. I wish I would have just masked this shit off and uh, spray painted it instead of doing this. Golly, you talking about a pain in the ass, nigga. Jesus. <laughs> Day. So it's time to run some water across this thing. Yeah, man, it's time to run some water across this thing. I'm whoops. Put all my little pieces on. My little blue shit. Dirt did me dirty. But so that's that's the part of owning the truck gotta use this thing and we was deep off in them trenches yesterday deep deep I might throw in a little clip for y'all after this yeah we're gonna run some water across both of these things get them right show y'all a little before and after yeah man as y'all can see she back looking like a 21 she back looking like a 2021 Dry this motherfucker off and call it a day. Yes, sir. Got her all dried off. This thing gleaming. I know I got the sauce, man. Gonna keep some shit wet down. Gonna keep some shit looking brand new. video out for y'all. 
Oh, we got some good sunlight. Why oh, she got some good uh, sunlight on her. Ran some water across this thing. <laughs> yeah, the cross member from hell. It's all on there, though. It's all on there. Look good, too. Look good. It's all coming together. Finally. Fender liners out. I'm gonna take them out. Rhino liner them. Clean them up some. Give it that nice rocky bed liner texture. Oh yeah, man. Let's see what it's looking like after that. Yeah, it's a walk around though. It's a walk around in this thing after. Got it lifted and wheels and then start painting some shit. Whole whole look done changed up. Big frosty right there. Big frost. Yeah, so I might got some other future updates too that I wanna do. It's like this shit never stopped till it's never ending oh god i said i was done a while ago so i might delete this i might delete that i've been looking for some of the uh the moldings that go right there like on the z71s cannot find none of them motherfuckers to save my life but i was thinking about getting some of them put on put on there and uh Change this hood up. I don't know though. I got one more piece under here I want to do. Can y'all guess what it is? Probably not. But uh, I might do it. I'm tired though, man. I've been up under this motherfucker and been doing a lot. So I really might let it just. Might let me and the truck rest for a minute. But uh. Yeah, man. It's another build update for y'all. I thought I was gonna stop at 10. Shit, it's about to be 12. I'm supposed to be jumping in these guts next. I said I wasn't gonna do that. I'm gonna for sure change this interior up. Pretty clean for some cloth. Y'all know I already did the headliner. So I'm thinking about, I got a little idea I wanna do with the interior. Nothing too crazy, but definitely a pop. <sighs> but I might do that, man. I might. I might, I might. This shit, like I said, this shit never ending with this motherfucker. I just keep coming up with shit. And look, now it's crazy. The sun going down while I'm recording. But yeah, I ain't gonna hold y'all up too long, man. Like, subscribe. Drop in that comment section, man. Let me know uh, what, what, what part y'all enjoyed the most. Was it the time lapse with me struggling like a motherfucker? Is it the ending? Looking at the truck all clean and done. Was it the dirt bike clip? Was it me washing the dirt bike? Well, not washing it, but showing y'all the before and after. What part y'all liked uh, most out of this whole uh, video? And let me know what y'all, what else y'all want to see. All right, signing out. GTP Ridge for the win. TAF taking all fades.